But today, we're checking out the Lilligo Tea Pager. Now, I got this for free from Lilligo, but they did not pay me to say any of this. And everything is my own personal thoughts. So, like I said, this is the Tea Pager. I don't know why it's called that, because it's actually a Blackberry. <laughs> That's the same design. I even found the same Blackberry. It doesn't matter. I guess they're just hopping in on this Pager hype with Meshtastic and Hack... Oh, see, Hack Lab. But, anyway, this tiny thing... Actually, is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. I mean, I saw it, I'm like, okay, that looks cool. But then having the hands, it's weird. It just it brings you closer to it, even though I have some other gadgets that could do some more stuff that would be more beneficial to carry around. But let's go over it, and I have to tell you guys how to flash this because it took hours to figure it out. Oh, just like any other device, we want to flash it with Bruce because that is the best for a device like this. So we can go over to Bruce Computer, install. You basically just go down. Uh, I'd go to beta release for now, Lily Go, and you could find it. Here it is, Laura T page, T Laura pager. Wow, and then you could install it or you could flash it. Now to flash this thing, it, oh my gosh, you want to hold. There's three buttons here. You want to hold down the first button, plug it in, press this button, and then let go of it, and then let go of this one. Okay, and then it'll be in boot mode. Like it should have just been one button, but. I don't know. I didn't design this thing, but that's how you're actually going to get it up and running for to go into boot mode. Otherwise, your computer's not going to recognize it. Now, let's go a little in depth on what this thing can do and really why it's actually so cool. No, really, you have a guy like this, and you're like, oh, let me guess, Ilya, I can do Wi Fi and be Ilya taxing. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what it does. But it has a feature which makes it cooler. Now, first, it has backlight keyboard, which is cool. Definitely nice for seeing in the night if you're like doing something. And the small form of this doesn't make it look weird, okay? It's not like you have huge antennas unless you want them to come out. And that is another thing. Unlike the T yeah, unlike the T Deck, which would be, I guess, the brother to this, it they're not even close in size, actually. I have my T Deck right here. And this is the difference. So obviously this one has a ten foot long antenna. I'm not even fitting in the screen. And this one's half the size, just a little longer. Now, I will say that I do like the screen better on this one because it's a touch screen. This one would, I feel like, be too small if you have, like, a stylus. But really, you don't need it. You use this little scroll wheel to move around. But, like I said, the brother would, well, actually, this one feels like a brother. This one would be a sister. They both do Wi-Fi, tax, BLE, but they both also have LoRa built-in, long-range communication. So that means we could flash Mesh-tastic on here. Now, I know they're working on the official firmware where you, like the nice one that's on the T deck. Right now it's kind of just like a janky one, not gonna lie. Not the company's fault at all. And I know another cool thing about this one is instead of ports like this to add extensions, you have actual GPIO and they're already releasing things for this. Now, like I said, this is the LoRa antenna, this is the Wi Fi and BLE antenna. And even though it may not have all the stuff like RFID and all this, all the random stuff that people somehow always need nowadays, it's like you don't. You have different devices for different things. And, I mean, I have different devices for different things with the new setup. But, I mean, really, it is a cool device. And I think something just being, like, the round edges, it's so not you could type it with one hand uh, if your fingers were a little bigger than mine. No, but, and then the screen has a good speaker. And just really, of course, Meshtastic on the go, which is very nice. But nowadays it could get Meshtastic into really anything. And... <laughs> I mean, anything. Next Monday, we'll drop the video on this one. Wednesday is going to be the mini PC. Thursday is the Quimsy K. Or Friday is the Quimsy K3. But that's really going to be it for this video. Now, down to the thing. Would I recommend this? Now, it's kind of between the two. You have, like, your Lily Go Team Bed CC1101. And I say, if you want to be a hacker, go out and get this guy. This would be the best one you could get. Even better than Flipper Zero, number one tool. But if you want to be, like, if you're, like, secretive, you have, like, your own organization, you don't want the government reading your texts, that's where something like this is going to come in. And really between this and the T-Deck, it's obviously going to have to be this guy because of the small form factor. Like I said, you don't have huge antennas. If you don't have the antennas, you don't get any range. So just the ability to tuck this one in. And even when it's not pointed out, it's still, I mean, obviously half of this is isolated now. But, I mean, even just like that, it's like... Nobody's glancing twice at that. Everybody's looking at this thing, asking why, what are you doing on there? Especially if you're at the airport or something. But that's really going to be it for this video. So like I said, when it comes down to Meshtastic, 
And a okay, so you have two sides of Meshtastic. You have a node like this, or you have a self device where you could type like this. Now it really comes down to what you want. If you want to type on your phone, being more secure, this is me the best device for Meshtastic for typing by itself. You don't need anything else. I do know the card computer ADV just released. It's like a competitor directly to this guy. But that's really going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go join the Discord, ages 13 to 17. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, I mean, let me see. I know we are actually super close to hitting. Let me see. Okay, in our Discord, we have... Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, actually. I don't... I, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> like 92 people, okay? So once we get to 100, I want to do like a meeting. Every... Everyone could get on. We could talk about our stuff, what we have, and start doing, like, lessons once a week. And I feel like that would be super cool. Or more in-depth stuff. Now, that is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, like I said. Uh, I'll link down below. I'll leave the link down below for the T-Laura pager also. But that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.